One of the most important problems in graph theory is known as the traveling salesperson problem. Given a weighted complete graph on n vertices, find a minimal weight Hamilton circuit. The obvious algorithm is to check all n factorial possible paths. But even with a computer that could check a trillion paths a second, for n equals 22, the sales representative would retire before getting an answer. For n equals 25, the descendants of the sales representative would have evolved into another species. For n equals 27, the effects of continental drift would have to be included. And for n equals 28, the effects of the sun's expansion into a red giant and the destruction of the earth would make the answer meaningless. So, while this is an algorithm, it's not a very useful one. There's another problem with this approach, or really any approach to this problem. Suppose we claim to have a solution. How do we know it's a solution? It seems the only way to verify that a given Hamilton circuit has minimal weight is to check the weights of all the other paths, all n factorial of them. What this means is that instead of trying to find the minimal weight Hamilton circuit, what if we tried to find a Hamilton circuit that was approximately minimal? This sounds possible, but how would we know if the Hamilton circuit was approximately minimal? Since we don't know what the minimal weight Hamilton circuit is, we don't know what the minimal weight is. So to answer this question, we'd want to find bounds on that minimal weight circuit. One obvious bound is that the sum of the n edges of least weight gives a lower bound, while the sum of the n edges of greatest weight gives an upper bound. For example, we want to try to find bounds on a minimal weight Hamilton circuit for the graph shown. Since a Hamilton circuit on five vertices would include five edges, we select the five edges of least weight. And the edges of least weight are AB, weight 3, CD, weight 3, CE, weight 5, AC, weight 5, and BC, weight 5. So if these form a Hamilton cycle, circuit, whatever, it would have a weight of 21. We can obtain an upper bound by selecting five edges of greatest weight, and these are So if these form a Hamilton cycle, it would have weight So any Hamilton cycle must have a weight between 21 and 45. This means if we find a Hamilton cycle with a weight close to 21, we might be satisfied with it. But if the Hamilton cycle has a weight close to 44, we might try to find a better one. Remember, once a problem has been reduced to an algorithm, a machine can do it faster, cheaper, and more accurately than a human being. So learning an algorithm is not important. Creating an algorithm is. So how could we create an algorithm to solve the traveling salesperson problem? Suppose we try a greedy algorithm. Since we want a least weight Hamilton circuit, Let's start with the edge of least weight, then select the least weight edge that is adjacent and does not form a circuit unless it's the last edge needed. The least weight edge is AB, so we'll start with that one. The edges incident on B are BC, weight 5, BD, weight 6, and BE, Wait 6. Since BC is the least weight edge, we'll choose it as our next edge. The edges incident on C are CA, weight 5, 
CE, weight 5, and CD, weight 3. CD has the least weight, so we'll choose it as our next edge. The edges incident on D are... So TB and DE has the least weight, but choosing DB would form a circuit prematurely, so we can't choose it. Instead, we'll choose DE. And now our fifth edge must be the edge that takes us back to our starting point A, so we must choose EA, even though this is the most expensive edge. And this gives us a Hamilton circuit with weight 37, which is close to the maximum possible. So we might try a different circuit. Let's consider a different greedy algorithm. Since all vertices of a circuit have degree 2, select the least weight edge that does not create a circuit and does not create a vertex of degree 3 or more. So again, we'll begin by selecting the edge of least weight A, B. We can also select C, D, which also has weight 3. The next lowest weight edges are the three edges of weight 5. We'll choose C, E. The lowest weight edges are now However, choosing either would cause vertex C to have degree 3, which we can't allow. So the next lowest weight edges are those of weight 6. But we can't choose ED since this would form a circuit. So we'll choose, how about DB instead? And that's four edges, so our fifth edge must be AE. And this gives us a Hamilton circuit with a total weight of 37, which isn't any better than our other greedy algorithm. As a general rule, greedy algorithms tend to produce mediocre to poor results. However, we might be able to start with the result produced by a greedy algorithm and modify it by being less greedy at some stages, we might be able to improve our overall outcome. Let's take a look at that next.